Thank you for staying with us here on Most Buffalo. You know, support for Bill's safety, Damar Hamlin, continues to pour in. Isaiah Kim Martinez joining us live outside the University of Cincinnati Medical Center now. And Isaiah, we know that people there and across the country, of course, here in Buffalo, are still in a state of shock. Absolutely, and just waiting right now. The way a former Bills player put it, we're all just crossing our fingers, praying for just one piece of good news to come out today. We, of course, haven't gotten an official update this afternoon as far as DeMar Hamlin's uh, current condition. We do know just before noon, though, we saw the, the tweet from the family themselves giving their update. You see it on your screen right here, essentially thanking people for their support and donations to Hamlin's toy drive, which has gotten a lot of attention in recent days, and of course expressing appreciation for first responders and the hospital themselves. Now, here's some video we got today of the memorial not far from the front entrance. You can see fans, of course, bringing uh, candles. They, they say they're actually going to bring more candles tonight to light tonight, hoping for some better weather. Meanwhile, we talked to Eric Wood, a former U of L Cardinal and Bills player. He was at the stadium in the booth broadcasting the game last night. He describes when everything changed. And so there was a, an energy in the atmosphere that was just incredible. And then in an instant, it was silence. You generally get that thumbs up for the from the player or a wave that just says, okay, he's, he's going to be all right. You know, this is a violent game. We understand there are some risks to it. Last night was a different situation. You're talking about cardiac arrest. We also talked to a Bills fan who's been to 39 straight games. She says fans were crying at times, locking arms in support. She's actually, uh, many of these people we spoke to today have met DeMar Hamlin face to face, calling him a great young man with a great smile, saying he loved kids, which of course has been evidenced in that 2020 toy drive. He started the GoFundMe that's gone from just a few thousand now to almost around $4.8 million raised at this point. Obviously, the community coming together here tonight. I'm live outside the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Isaiah Kim Martinez, we'll throw it back to you all in Buffalo. We are so glad to have you there bringing us these updates. Isaiah, thank you. And there